Hello, welcome to the Thursday, March 29th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. If you're using Drupal, you probably already heard that Drupal did release a critical update today. The update was released for Drupal version 7 and 8, bringing it up to 7.58 or 8.51 respectively. Now, an older version of Drupal, Drupal 6, is also affected, but Drupal 6 is end of life and as a result there is no patch available from Drupal directly. You have to go to a vendor that actually still offers usually for pay support for Drupal 6. Now the problem with this vulnerability is that it does allow for arbitrary code execution. At this point there is no exploit as far as I know available for this vulnerability. It may also take a little while for it to come out, maybe tomorrow, maybe early next week. The way they patched this particular vulnerability is by including a more generic sanitize function that will sanitize all parameters so it's not that you could easily pinpoint a particular vulnerable parameter. Drupal of course has had a rather spotty security history like most of these content management systems but still it's quite popular with over a million sites using Drupal according to the banner it's including on pages. So don't delay, patch quickly and given that they did this sort of more generic sanitation approach, the code change is actually rather minor. It's an additional file with the sanitation routines and then I believe only five different lines were actually changed in the Drupal core code. Microtik routers recently got a lot of attention. First Kaspersky wrote about Slingshot, which was a campaign to exploit these routers with the target to actually implant malware on administrator systems. Later it turned out that this was actually a CIA operation against ISIS. Now more recently in the last few days there has been a large increase in scans for port 8291. That appears to be not quite as sophisticated. Just according to NetLab 360, it's likely the Hajime botnet looking for Microtik vulnerabilities that have actually been patched about a year ago. But apparently there are still plenty of routers out there that haven't had this patch applied yet. Hajime is sort of a generic IoT malware, but instead of just uh, looking for weak usernames and passwords, in this case, it actually runs an exploit. So what can you do? Well, keep your routers updated, not just these Microtik routers. That's just the latest case of a vulnerability being actually exploited in the wild. But pretty much for any router out there, you should probably see an update about twice a year that patches a critical vulnerability. And well, it's not just these small routers and such that have issues. Cisco today released a whole list of patches, three of which are rated critical. The first one is sort of a Cisco classic by now, and that's a backdoor in this case in Cisco iOS XE, or the way Cisco chooses to describe it, it's a vulnerability due to an undocumented user account with privilege level 15 that has a default username and password. So basically a backdoor that some developer at Cisco included in these devices. The other two critical vulnerabilities are not quite as trivial to exploit. The first one is due to improper validation of packet data. It affects the smart install feature and is exploited by connecting to the device on TCP port 4786. The third critical vulnerability affects the quality of service subsystem for Cisco iOS software and Cisco iOS 
XE. In this particular case, the attacker would have to send a UDP packet to port 18,999. And due to improper bounce jacking, this can then lead to either a restart of the device, so a temporary denial of service, or to arbitrary code execution. Now, the reason it only affects uh, this one particular port is because this port is used by the dynamic multipoint VPN. That's a feature in Cisco iOS and iOS XE, and that is actually how this vulnerability is triggered. Well, that's it for today. So keep all your content management systems, switches, and routers updated. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.